Ladies and gentlemen, say what you want about Angelina Jolie. I am here with the original Thunder Lips, Mr. Hulk Hogan, everybody. Take it easy. I'm not your type. Calm down, you know. You'd be better off with Angel Angelina, you know. I'll handle Brad Pitt for you. You are getting back in the ring. Tell me, is this I mean, is this true? Come on. Big mistake. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I don't know how to tell you, but it was kind of like the fans started going, Hogan, Hogan. Oh, my God, they're calling my name. And it's a blessing in disguise because for me to get back in the ring the first time in 10 years on national TV, I got to be careful out there, you know, because I'm a little brittle brother. But this is like the Monday Night Wars. This is this is when wrestling was interesting. I mean, the universe was huge for a while in the 90s. And it's kind of like history repeating itself, but we're putting wrestling back on the map the way it should be. Uh, just the right amount, too much or not enough TNA on TNA. <laughs> That's good. We've got some really good looking ladies on total nonstop action wrestling. Your, your mind's in the gutter, brother. I'm going to call your wife since I got off this interview. We've got some beautiful ladies that actually know how to wrestle. I think we've got enough TNA on TNA. But who are some of the other greats who you admire? Well, you know, you got to, you know, hands down give it to Andre the Giant. He was great wrestler, great athlete, and at the end of the day, he was a very kind individual. Ric Flair. I've been so blessed to have Ric Flair the greatest wrestler in the world in this company, in my opinion. I mean, there's been some real greats in this business. The Oscars were last night. Take us back, the year 1982, the nominations come out. You find out you're not nominated for Thunder Lips and Rocky III. How did that feel? I just felt really bad that they didn't realize that the ultimate male, Thunder Lips, gave the ultimate performance. I mean, you know what? It's still a classic to this day, and I had a full head of hair back then. Right, given the way that our government is going these days, uh, have you ever thought about doing a remake called Mr. Nanny State? I thought about running, running, you know, for the presidency of the United States. Dude, there was just such a buzz. I actually got scared that I might win. So, oh my gosh, go move to Washington. I love Florida. Don't want to go there. Go to go to the White House. My ex-wife's going to redecorate and tear this place apart, and I'm probably going to get shot at. I quit. And given how many T-shirts you've ripped up and destroyed over the years, don't you think it was a little hypocritical that you made one of your signature moves, the clothesline? You know, the moms really don't need to be outside hanging clothes. So I figured as I ripped a shirt off and the thousands and thousands of little hulksters, including yourself, were ripping their shirts off as my pocket went cha-ching, there were less and less clothes to hang on the line. So I thought it was poetic justice that the more shirts I ripped and the more money I made, the less mom had to get her fingers dirty. Let's get down and dirty here. Who's had more knee replacements, you or Jenna Jameson? Oh, man, that's brutal. Uh, I don't want to go there. No. <laughs> I got you with that one. It's me. Yeah, you caught me off guard with that one. What would be my wrestling name? Awesome Andy Mania, brother. Awesome Andy. Awesome Andy Mania. I like that. So what you gonna do when Awesome Andy in the Daily Bus runs wild on you? Ooh, yeah! He's pretty damn good.